Right, let me get back up the hill. I'm always worried, like, if whenever I push my seat around, there's, you know, a dog's under the seat somewhere. End up rolling over somebody's paw. Now, that money's collapsing pretty quick. We are loading jet fuel. 46k. That's only 10,000 it, jet it, fuel. It's really a judgment call as to A, how much fuel you want us to take versus how much money we've got versus whether you're happy to edit it in the editor. Oh, well, yeah. Hang yeah, on. Yeah. If he goes in his edit bench, we'll see how much his train's going to cost. The vehicle you're editing is too large, Jack. LOL! Was there anything else on the outside? Was it just the ladder? No, oh, it's just the ladder. It was fine until I stuck the ladder on. Just try it again, Paul. Yeah, what? Try, try actually try, loading, try it. loading it in. Yeah, try loading the saved one. Too large? Ah. I mean, that's the only really good way of putting ladders on trains. Unless you shrink your train by a width of three or whatever. That's not going to happen. Put well, it on the front and... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I okay, guess so... that hack doesn't work. Yeah, I guess I've changed that since the last time I built a train. That's annoying. Dear Sam, that she's a lot more gentle eating treats than my eight-month British bulldog. Yeah, I can believe that. Take turn, turn the you handle. You could try doing some kind of um, ladder that starts off upright, facing inwards, and then as it it kind of pitches down, so that then the the rungs are facing out. Put the ladder on a pivot, lol. Yeah, so it folds up, facing inwards. Uh, you've got 33,000 left after spawning your train in, in its current state. I have indeed. So that means... That means his train is only costing about 4,000 at the moment. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot more to add. I think we probably want to leave him with at least 15. How many blocks does the ladder have in front of it again? It's three blocks total, isn't it? Yeah. The block part is three blocks in front of that. Uh, the block and four. the handle. So, yeah, that would be four entirely, three from the rung. Yeah. So, from where your rung is, you want two more again? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm just going to have to put it at the back here for now. It's uh, It sucks, but it's going to get us there for now. We can do something clever with it later. Twelve thousand. Might be that we have to do this in two parts. I was going to ask you, Jack, the connectors at the front, I know they have to be four blocks from the floor, but what size connectors and what do we want different types or just the normal connector? Uh, it's entirely up to you as to what connector you use, and it depends on what trailer you're going to be connecting. Small connector is normal. Like I said to you earlier, I like to use uh, the electrical connector because then I can send electricity from the actual driving train to the trailers. But it's up to you how you want to do that. Normal small connector is fine. Are you going to go back in the train bay, Paul? Or are you already doing it? Never mind. Ignore me. The smoke pipe is too high. No, well, it was fine when I built it in the train thing. It's stream delay, Jack, you know that. Yeah. Uh, for the connector, you need to use an electrical connector. But how does it, if it's an electrical connector, how does it hold it? Uh, 
the electrical connectors do have an actual connection ability. They do, so they're like a small connector but with electricity. Yeah. In the same way that the fluid port is a small connector but it just does fluid. Well, on the map, according to my screen, Whiteland is in front of us in the middle of the bay. Right. Yeah, there's something about right in front of the cab here. I can't walk here. It pushes me to the sides. As if there's something mm. there. Let's do that for now. It's crude. Oh, Whiteland's uh. on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't jump. Uh, with the connector, you might want to put it on a left to right pivot, the unpowered one. Don't tell me about maximum. With the electrical connector, I might what? You want to put the the connector on a... Um, I can't remember what this is called. It's a pivot. I think it's just called pivot. And if you put it sideways so that it moves left to right, and then it means you can connect up, uh, you can drag your trailer around corners a bit better. What, just a standard pivot? Yeah, the one that looks like an egg timer. So, in theory, Jack, the money that we're going to get back is that figure times... No, it isn't. It's times six. Put it on the back of the connector facing inboard to the train. Yeah, that's it. And then connect that up to the train. Why doesn't it want me to build a block here? You might have to put the pivot the other way around. That's, That's the right way, isn't it? Yeah, it's just that it was it was merged wrong. That's all. And then a connector on the end, and then it means that you've basically you've got left right movement between the trailer and the car. Yeah, go back to that mode screen. That didn't look right for a second. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Then do you want to merge the green to the red? I am going to do. Is that Take right? your hands yeah. off the wheel. <laughs> there we go. Done. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. <laughs> right. Let's go and do the same over here now. You want to pivot. That's the right way. You want to take that block in there. Put the pivot back. Put the connector back. And then you'll just need a button to disconnect them. I just hope that's strong enough. <laughs> Can you right, save that. Jet up, please, Whiteland. If okay, there. we're going to have to do the wiring in a minute. I just want to get this thing so we can actually use it, you know. Um, we're going to have some glass around this part here. We get a reasonable view. Seventeen thousand. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, we're front heavy, aren't we? All aboard. Yep. Oh, anchor at the back, please. Good point. 
It's disconnected, so you can go. Right, let's see. Window. Cable length is just 3 by 2 or a 2 by 2 Try a 3 by 2 What's a large window okay. like? I think that might not be right. As opposed to a 3 by 2 I guess it depends what luck you're going for. Now let's do the corner first. So it's handy that there's two of you. Because it'll take two to operate the hose. Window. Corner window. Will that even fit? I wonder if there's a little piece that goes there. Window wedge, maybe. Can you make sliding glass? Uh, if you put the window on, if you put the window on a on a compact rail, you could in theory move it. Yeah. Large corner window. And that's gonna be too much. Other option is to do that and do that. Not sure if I like that to be honest. Now it says we're doing plus hundred and eighty two knots. I'll take it. <laughs> if I I'll probably. just ignore the, the, the view from the front do it that way. Between naught and five. I have a feeling something weird is going on with yours. Yeah, because the exhaust is coming out through the side of the boat now. Oh, it's so broken on my end. Narrow window. That doesn't quite fit, really. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Uh, Mutley, do you want to put that in the band sheet, please? Corner window. Let's see what I want. So we could just do it this way. Which is a little bit more train-like anyway. Is that two by one, not that one? So the only problem is, like, if you're sat down, you can see out there. If I put another rack of windows on there, so you can see when you stood up, it might look a bit weird. 
What if you built a truck and drive it Sunday evening? Imagine that. You could call it like, I don't know, Sunday, Sunday night trucking, something like that. Be a good name. can do that for now it'll never work yeah it's a bit of a rubbish name actually we could go with um hmm truck config sunday and drive that's a bit easier to remember and i think get some more windows in here i bet you have to put blocks in this bit is dumb so what you have to do is like you have to put in blocks for it to sit on. And then it let you put the windows in and then you can remove the blocks. <laughs> then you get what you wanted in the first place. Mostly config, if we're honest, yeah. We could just call it Mostly Config Sunday. Are you going to build a bullet train? <laughs> I'm just trying to build a working train right now. Okay, that's plenty high. Right, so as far as I can remember, Jack and Whiteland, you need to run up this hill towards the north, and the pump is up there. And then you need to hold the button down and winch the cable out at the same time and pull it towards this way. One of those, is it? It's one of those, yeah. I think Whiteland is possibly AFK. Whiteland. Bad timing. I'll come then. Good thing about a train is you don't have to worry about buoyancy and things like that. Yeah. You got that? Yeah, I let it out, Jack. Okay. Just keep it held down, yeah. Oh my god, this thing. This reminds me of like a Rubik's Cube puzzle. No matter how many, what rotations you do, it's never the right one. That's actually a two corner, a two um, block squeeze through there. Not sure that's going to work. Oh, you made it. Uh, why is that stopped? Yeah, that's all I've got. Okay. Have to do that for now. This. Like the ugliest train. It's like the Renault of trains. Oh, this actually made it. It's like the Renault Range T of trains. It's horrendous. Move the door in one. 
Oh, dude. Do you realize the pain that'll go? Is the anchor cable down for anyone else? It's all spooled out for me, like just floating on the surface. Um, white and's connected it to the ground. Yeah, no, but is it all like just bobbing around? No. Right. Okay. That's fine. It's to mess up from before then. Mm. This game is not going to want to do this. I think I'll have to put some blocks down to help it. Yeah, we could stand on dry land and get port save it again. Um, maybe when we finish the, um, offloading? I would do it now just to... Why don't you delete? Because we're in the right place with everything connected, right? Okay. Paul! Oh. Well, at, at his hey, earliest guys. convenience. It's fighting the user interface of this game. Yeah, it's either LK or J. <laughs> or, if you want to change the mode of placement, I and O. I know. There we go. Mm, that is low, right? I don't know if that's going to work. So it probably will work. We do that. I actually look quite compact. I think that's going to work. I don't know. And then we can kind of put that back to wherever it was before. There you go. I swear this is going to topple. Like, do trains topple over in this, Jack? No, oh, they're always locked to the rail. It's just as well. Why well, you want me to save it? The door's the wrong way around. What do you mean? What do you mean it's the wrong way around? Which way is it going to go? Is that the inside? Does it matter? Does it actually matter which way it is? Is this still the wrong way around, Jack? Uh, I don't think it matters, to be honest. It's more of a personal taste thing. I guess the normal way would be to have the single panel facing out. I think it's purely cosmetic. Yeah, it really is. It doesn't matter. Your... See if I can flip it round. So the game is constantly fighting you. It wants to put it down in a certain axis.
How's that then? Happy anniversary, Nutter. We don't actually have a research going. Happy with that? Well, you could do firefighting equipment, although I don't feel like we're in a position hey, to Lankabell, deal what are you with doing? that at the moment. No, not with that. Uh, Nesiza, thank you boat. for three months. Uh, Shawlone, thank you for nine months. Shawlene, I don't know if I've said it right. I guess we could save them. Right, I, I'm, I'm going to focus because we're running out of time here. I want to try this thing. I'm going to focus on the systems now, try and get this thing working. Um, what are we going to need up here? We're going to need a... Well, if we have a look at the pilot seat, driver's seat. My stream is just taking a dive. W well, and S, right? Many, That's going to be many back sick crew member job. It's just coming. We want it to be sticky. Don't know what we mm. need for. And he's only just like three kilometers away from. So W and S is going to be the throttle, either. which is going to go forward and backwards. Nice. Um. Do you need to brakes in this or not? Uh, you... yeah, it's got um, uh, what do you call it? Brakes, uh, variable brakes, I think. Oh, it has a data input for brake. Is that green or pink? And a wheel slip indicator. It's green, so it's a data indicator. So yeah, you need to like use A and D or something for break. I think what I did before is I had a um a throttle lever on the brake and then used it as like um as like a loco brake, applying the pressure as I needed it. Your car got stolen today, the Golf Mark One. Oh dear. That's so you, get, you have it on a throttle, or you can have it A and D. The ship just totally disappeared for me. Uh, yeah, it's still here. Okay. I didn't know if you and Whiteland want to go off and do the mission. Uh, I'm just trying to figure my internet out, which is taking a real dive. We'll put it on A and D. A and D goes to the break. Happy anniversary, Nutter. That's the throttle, which is going to W and S on the throttle. A and D on the brake. You want a wheel slip indicator somewhere. Somewhere in your view. Will slip and then we drag that to that. Throttle to the motor, not to the engine. That's a uh, that's a good, very good point actually. <laughs> that would help. Fluid level, fluid capacity. So we need to control the electric generation. Uh, we're just going to have to do something very simple, I think. Engine on or off.
going to push button go in here. We're going to put seating and control systems. Normally I put systems on the back wall. We're going to have to go here, I think. Actually, I think we've got... Yeah, we can actually put systems here. I'll do. Uh, do we have a different Sunday evening schedule these days? Yeah, it depends on the build of the stuff. Right, let's get that. Oops. Put some stuff here, like the circuit breaker and that kind of thing. That's the breaker switch can go there. Um, got a battery dial there. door button well i'm probably on a door sensor to be honest i'm also going to put a relay down here so that we can have the electrics done properly this time i'm going to reconnect quick Dashboard relay default on. Looks like Sunday night trigonometry, not far wrong. This is the master breaker. That is going to be the battery which is going to go from zero to one that is going to be the um generator output which has an undisclosed number what right are we offloading yet are you asking the one just above it's slow, I think, Jack. It does seem to be going rather slow. Plus, I didn't know whether you and White and want to go and do the medivac mission. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, there's no dial over here. Um, I've got a bit of money. I suppose I might be able to spawn a boat. I just suppose that matters which way that's that's just a circuit isn't it whoa lag i can actually see the medevac ship from the dock well that's the electric generator so that needs to go to the batteries on the relay 20 minutes to load it in and fuel Digging the new camera angle. <laughs> Jeez, how long has it been? <laughs> right, inputs, uh, main breaker, let's see, electric A, electric B. So A comes in from the battery set. And then B goes off to everything else. I didn't take too much cash, did it? So when the breaker is thrown... No, 68,000. The breaker is thrown, it goes off and powers the engine. And the doors. Actually, no. 
The doors want to be powered all the time, otherwise you can't actually get in. Draw the breaker, you get clutch. You get electric motor. Connect the fuel to the batteries, and that way you can always um, you can always refuel without throwing the master breaker. How do you get this thing the right way up? I do not know. The last time I did this, I got it the wrong, wrong way around. You've been away since before Christmas due to internet, blimey. Separate small batteries to power the cab essentials. Um, nah. I'd rather have just one set of batteries. I'm sure I did red at the bottom last time. It didn't work. I'm sure I did this last time and it just, for whatever reason, didn't work. Right, I just gotta go AFK. Okay. So you get the battery relay, it powers that as well. And then this thing is a fuel gauge. So this, the, if you push the button on this, it releases the connector underneath. So this button links to that to do the release. That button links to that to do the release. And the data for these two should come from the fuel sensor, wherever that is. There is fluid level goes to display value and then capacity goes to oh wait a minute the capacity goes to the oh, home i can't remember which way you do the fluid level jack the capacity goes to the primary or the secondary <laughs> which is the, the capacity was the i think you had the capacity as the red line and you and then you had the level as the white line i think yeah, but which is, is primary red or is secondary red? Oh, it says the uh, numerical value that sets the position of the red needle. So we'll set that to capacity. Right, and then the actual fluid level will be the white needle. There we go, that'll do. That should tell you how much fluid is in that thing. And the push button will release it. Connected. I should be fine. This is the gearbox switch, so we need to hook that up to a hotkey so that can go to gear one. Let's see, that's going to get power from the main breaker. This is always connected. Um, now, the door systems need to be connected to the battery as well. 
they've always got power. Uh, let's see, capacity shouldn't the red be at the top? Capacity. Yeah, well, it, yes, but it's not reading any data yet. It's not actually active. Generator output, that's going to come from... That needs to be powered from the master. Yeah, so the throw switch is on A, and then when you have B active, it powers all that other stuff. B will also power this relay. And then that relay powers these. We also need to have this connected, which is a real pain. Probably need a relay down there as well. For now, we'll just wire it up to the breaker. Okay, I think everything is connected electrically. I believe. Uh, remember, Cool Tiger's Revenge owes me cake next time. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. <laughs> right, data connections. We've got some more to do. Wheel slip indicator can technically come from both wheels, but we'll just hook it to one. Um, but the brake, the A and D output should also go to the rear brake. So we get maximum braking. Um, that relay doesn't need to worry about that. That's the indicator light. Starter motor for the engine, and we want buttons for the doors and stuff. Engine on off. You know, for now, I'm just going to hook it up to that button. We'll worry about the logic later. That's the throttle for the engine. Now, we do need a way of controlling the engine, the actual engine generator. It's generating the power. We don't need a throttle for the diesel and motors. I mean, yeah, some do. So we could use the um, we've currently got up and down is going to be we didn't put a clutch in, did we? Okay, so W, S, A, and D are to do with driving, right? So W and S is forward and backwards, A and D is braking. Trim axis. Which are the keys for the trim axis, though? I was just going to put them on this. Hot key one is the gearbox. I think so. Alt is the default trim key. Right. So you want to be, you want to have your hand on WASD because that's what, when you're driving, that's what you're focused on. The actual engine, what it's the engine's doing is just generation. So you're not too worried about that. So I'm kind of just going to put that on up and down, I think. And I don't know what to put that on there. Use your governor logic. Did I actually... I can't remember if I kept that. Hang on. I never actually tested whether this worked, though. That's the problem. I mean, it works in theory, but it's just never been put to... 
puts a proper use here. So battery level and clutch to generator. Now we didn't put a clutch on the generator, so that won't work. So that's not going to work. Because that'll output a value between 0 and 1, won't it? Engine throttle, standard value between minus 1 and 1 that controls the forward-backward throttle of the engine. Minus 1? Why on earth does it go between minus 1 and 1? See, what is that going to go between then? What values is that going to output? Yeah, but it's an engine. Why would you ever have an engine do minus one? I don't get it. Minus one's full reverse. But you can't reverse a diesel engine. Yeah, diesel engines don't work that way. So why does it take a minus one input? It's weird. For the throttle? Yeah. Should it should be not to one and that's it. Look, if I hover over the tooltip for throttle on a large diesel engine, standard value between minus one and one that controls the forward backward throttle of the engine. It doesn't make any sense. Uh that doesn't make sense. I feel like that's someone has screwed up with the text prompt. Who subbed? Nitro, thank you very much for subbing with Prime, mate. Thank you. Welcome to the Nut House. Not playing in advanced mode, but now it makes me wonder what value I can send it. Because if I could send it a value between zero and one, I could use my governor on it. But if it's only going to take minus one, I can't use my governor. Might just put a throttle lever here. It'll ignore minus one to zero. If that's the case, I'm going to use the governor on it then. Because if it can take a... Hang on a second. If it can take a zero to one value, I can give it that. Because what we can do is feed it the value of a battery and then have it control the throttle of the engine. So what the governor does is, as the battery drains, it picks up the engine. It won't change gear, but it'll pick up the engine. Let's see how that works. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, what else we're we missing? Battery value to display. Get from the same place as that. Uh, generator output we can get from. That's the generator output. The. So we can see the generator doing something. That's weird how the speed sensor doesn't need power. Speed. Oh, 
value to display on the speed sensor. Electricity from relay. Now you did an auto override the governor so that you can give it a little gas for the engine to start. Hmm. That's a very good point, dude. I hadn't actually thought about the engine start with the governor because we wasn't using it for that before, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Because I had it driving an electric engine before. Taking physical power. But like you say, we can't actually start it, can we? But I can't really use an all. Because it's a data input. All you can do is add values. We'd have to take the output of that and add it to the output of a throttle. That's what we'd have to do. Use a threshold gate. What, as in because they always want the engine running or something? It emits a mark of one when the value is at a certain range. Well, what that governor does is it says, what's the battery level? It does one minus the battery level and sends it there. It emits a one when the value's in a certain range and you can use that for ignition. You can have two to three fail starts so you can trick the governor and bleed the battery. Well, here's the thing. You can drive the train forward. That will bleed the battery, and then you press the start button on the engine. It's not ideal, but in theory it should work. Let me just um, make it so we can actually get in. Actually, I think you're needed. No. Uh, hemisphere. Tech players. One and a half, two meters. I can't remember what we set it on last time. one meter I, I honestly can't remember what we set it to why don't sensors need power Did I put this through a... I'm trying to think what we put this through. I detected. Open, close the door. Did we put this through an OR gate or something? Oh, it was through a capacitor, wasn't it? I think I had it going through an OR gate or something, and then a capacitor. Which kept the door open for a certain amount of time. Is 
didn't I? I'm pretty certain I wrote an ore gate that can take. Didn't I write a more gate or something? That was it. <laughs> I had a more gate. So it said, if that sensor fires, or that sensor fires, or that sensor fires, then fire the capacitor, and the capacitor controls the doors, and that was set for a short charge time, and I think we said about three seconds. Holy moly, that's big. Missing blocks. That's not bad. Does it have an emergency break? Not yet. We can fit it with Big Brother systems anytime. Yeah, there you go. I told you that was upside down. Actually, the red's at the top, isn't it? I don't know. 28,000 li 28, litres we can hold of diesel. Nice. Nice. Is so you enough? can empty that entire tank? Uh, Most of it, yeah. I'll work out why the white needle's not why it's sat in the middle for zero that's a bit weird where does the capacity should be at the top what about the white then Battery's full. Throw the master breaker on. Sit in the driver's seat. Getting wheel slip. Um. That flappy thing at the front, Jack. Yeah. It's flapping around. <laughs> no. What is it supposed to do? What do you mean it's supposed to do? Because when you have another car attached to the front or the back, it'll go around a corner better. The only problem with this electric thing is you can't really... Like, if you want zero throttle, it's very hard to set it. Yeah, you have to get it really precise. With the W and S keys, it's just bizarre. That's why I tend to use an actual throttle lever for that. And then another one for the brake. And then you can get it a bit more precise. Is it down to your sensitivity as well, set on your chair? I think I set it to like 10%. Wow. At least it works, no. though. I'll see what the battery level's on. You need some more dials in front of you. Like, um, reverser setting and things like that. I need to have a minimum throttle as well, otherwise I think that engine's got, I ain't got any diesel, what am I doing? You're just running off the electric right now. Yeah, this is quiet, Blah. man. It's like completely silent. You just wait till you get some speed up and try and go around the corner. Frank. Don't know what Frank. you're talking about, Governor. Have you not got buffers on it? Battery is on 0.5. What do you mean buffers, Jack? People were saying in chat buffers, and you never said buffers. Oh, I figured you said something about adding them later. 
There aren't any it's, buffers. Um, There's no component no, use, for that. Use the piston. The um the suspension piston. The piston suspension, the shock absorber. Yeah, that one. Just have a couple on the front, a couple on the back. It looks like a train now. Yeah, you might want to maybe move them one block in, otherwise they'll interfere with connecting to another car. Really? Well, they're a bit long. They're actually longer than the car. What, you mean to, you need to bury them inside? Yeah, maybe like one block deeper. It is working, it work. but there's definitely some issues. That nozzle flaps around, though. I don't even know how he's supposed to stop it doing that. Uh, you don't. It does the same thing on my train. I mean, I'm sure there's a way of doing it, but I generally tend to not. You want, like, a robotic one on there and then turn it on and off, don't you? I mean, you can go that way, but it's a bit more faff. Yeah. Right, we're going to have throttle for brake and stuff. Are you fully empty now, Sonny? No. Okay. There's 6,200 ish liters left in the tank to go and we came over here with 17 wasn't it we came over here with 17 yeah uh where's the cargo door gone uh it's still there you need to reload yeah you've the ship's fine except there's no cargo right, door. i need to know what yeah, throttle or... to me reconnect as long as the suspension i know so I think we've got well, the, the, the whole thing does that. To still go into the bank at this point. Mark time, Sterling? I think. Yeah. Well, I need to get it to control this before we go full steam ahead. And also, we've not got any diesel in it, so we can't even generate power yet. So that's going to show the linear speed. Well, Paul should be able to load his train in and put some diesel in it. That's going to control the throttles. Um... We'll have to see the Arctic next time. I think so. That is going to control the actual. Electric position. This is going to control. The braking. So we have. Throttle. Break. Something like that. And then a dial. So, Jack. Yeah. If we had like something in this ridiculous line of like seventeen huge winches connected to each other, we could just pump one like oh, the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is something I was talking about before. I've got a made in creative, so it's quite big, and we probably wouldn't be able to spawn it in. But I've got uh, my big tanker, and it comes stacked up with some fuel bowsers, which. Mm -hmm have a large winch front and back and you can create a line of pumps basically going across the ocean Lol. and then you you could connect up a buy point and a sell point oh throttle value can go to buy display line. bar break can go there and they we've got an idea about what you're doing Morecroft, i want to hear some choo choo noises i don't know how we're going to do that um, is that going to work? I don't know. Is it worth putting diesel in and finding out? I don't know.
That's a good point, actually. That's a very good point. We actually want throttle to go minus one because that has a reverse, isn't it? But the brake's going to go from naught to one, but the throttle goes from minus one to one, right? And that way we can go forward and backwards. Where's the red needle gone? It's so bizarre. Wait, why is that moving? Oh god. Why is that moving? We don't need a diesel engine throttle, we've got a governor on it. The brakes like spawning is applied or something. Yeah, you could set the start uh, number on the brake as being fully on. And then remove the brake as you add power. Yeah. Definitely need a better way of governing the engine. But well, we're moving. What's the battery yeah. doing, Whiteland? What speed are you getting? Kind of sound. What's it? I don't know, I've not even tried flooring it yet. Battery's at 0.9. I can hear the engine running though, Wyland. Just running very, very slowly. Right, let's try uh, moving forward a bit. I can hear the engine generation going. It's picking up speed. So have you got it set so that the engine changes its its revs dependent on how much electricity is being used? Yep. Right. We're doing 55 nice. so far. And the engine's kicking off. Oh my god. How's, <laughs> how's the battery? Is it maintaining its charge well? Why then is the battery maintaining charge? 0.77. I can put it in next gear. There's the next gear. No, it isn't like that. No, it did not like that. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. We are cruising. They need a horn that you can blast as you go past the station. I've got no readings. I don't know what the engine's doing. I'm just like, yeah, we're running blind. What's the battery on Wyland? Is it staying stable? Oh, it's going down, isn't it? If I put the next gear in though, it sounds like it's going to stall. I need to have like a charge right so we know what's going on. Oh, we're not. The, um, what's the coolant like on the engine? No you idea. To, might be able to up the RPS and get um, a greater charge speed. Different gear makes it charge. Hmm. Right, I'll put the different gear in. There you go, what's happening now? No point seven three. Wonder how much fuel I've left at the end of this. Yeah, we haven't got a hope of stopping it stopped. We're doing minus 27. Well, your governor thing technically works, doesn't it? It does, it, yeah. It, it does, it just needs a bit of um, fine tuning. I, I can't override yeah, it at the moment either. Yeah, but that's fairly impressive. Like, that was complete logic possibility, and it has worked. Yeah, I think you should be able to feed it a minimum value as well, and then it can start the engine to take over. Yeah. 
And it'd be great if it knew how to change gear as well. Yeah. You can you set can. up uh, an auto box. Yeah, you can do an auto box. It's on my list of things to do. I have a, a microcontroller for a four-speed auto box. Yeah, Does all the reverse clutch. keeps puddling me. Like I think I need to have a button that says reverse on it or something. I ain't flooring now, why then we're almost back at the We'll just detonate this train if we do that. You don't seem to be getting any wheel slip either, which is good. Oh, uh, if you floor it you get wheel slip. So you know that signal where he pulled up to, Jack? Is that where we've got to turn to go to the Arctic? Yeah, the first signal you come to you have to turn left. Okay. The second left is Sawyer Island. And if you keep going straight, it uh, takes you over to the other big island, which is to make the fuel east. tankers and go buy fuel and bring it back. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Uh oh, I think we're coming up to the. Uh... I'm going to slow down. Need to change the sensitivity on those things. Yeah, hey, they're really slow moving. So, have you got control of those through the seat as well, then, Paul? Uh, well, we stopped. That sounded painful. They're very. Wait, we're not even the right place. Oh, <laughs> someone has the track. Quite learned. Yeah, you're too far over. <laughs> Why? Let me pull forward and then switch the track so we go back into the uh, construction bit. How did he even switch that? There's a. Uh, you see a head on Paul's stream. Those um, poles. How do you even? How are you supposed to visualize what setting they're on? Uh, on the other side of them, I think there is. If you look behind you as you go past, there'll be um, either green or red. Right, it says it's green, I think. Yeah, the 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 switches cover two tracks. If it's left and right, if the left one is red and the right one is green, that means you'll be going onto the right track. Right, so green points the way that you're going to go. Is it set, Wyland? Tracks default to that shed. That's not great, though, is it? So the shed you want is to actually, I think that's the track you're on now. Yeah, we want to stay on this track, Wyland. So no, no, that's not right, Wyland. You want the one behind me, I think. Yeah. The one that's where I am now. You want to switch it so the green's pointing to the left. Engine seems to be ticking over nicely. I don't know what the charging's like. Did that then auto start when you um, pulled forward? Um, no. You have to start it manually at the moment. Okay. I'm gonna have to write some kind of microcontroller that does it all. Just trying to reverse back in a semi-control fashion. What's the battery and generator showing? Because underneath the battery wire, this has a generator. I can't quite see it from where I am. 
22. That's 22 smarties. Used 230 fuel apparently. Now 400 on that little run. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, I wouldn't say. See, if I put maximum brake on Wyland and I throttle it back, you can hear the engine picking up speed because the motor's trying to drive forward. The brakes are resisting it. We're burning fuel to try and give the engine more juice. So you can actually test it without moving. So the throttle's on zero. Yeah, look, the battery's coming back up. Change gear, so it does. Generation's coming down. Engine's going to stall in a minute, I think. Yeah, when it turns faster, that generator definitely goes up in value, the output. <laughs> that is kind of fun. Yeah, I need to change the gear ratios for sure. Right, Whiteland, are you ready? Should we go launch control? You ready for this? Some more fuel Maximum brake. Maximum throttles coming in. Maximum I'm throttle. Wheel slip. I'm Max throttle. To the, uh, to the shed now. I'm watch you Releasing brake. I want to see you rocket out of that shed. Nope, not very fast. No, the brake sensitivity is quite low. Can you see me on your left? I've got loads of wheel slip. Nah, I'm out of the ocean. Yeah, I see you. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of sparks. I've got so much wheel slip. I can't actually keep up with you now. I'll there goes the fuel. Up. There goes the fuel. I need to adjust these sensitivities. <laughs> Yeah, if I had, um, yeah, I'll write a microcontroller for this thing. How is Whiteland dying? I thought he meant he was laughing. Well, yeah, I thought that meant he was <laughs> laughing. <laughs> at, at some point, I must show you my jet train. I didn't have a seat. <laughs> oh dear. Seats were optional. It's not a headlamp, it's actually a connector. No, that's not miles per hour, that's meters per second, Captain Flint. That's pretty quick. Uh-oh. I can't engage quick enough. So, according to Google, 55 meters per second is 123 miles an hour. Yeah, so we just did 123 miles an hour. No. Nice. That's not bad. That's a bullet train. And even though we're out of juice, I can still get this baby back. I mean, that's only like rough cut as well. We've not even touched what's possible yet. 0.24 battery, that's pretty good going.
Thing is, if you're in the cab, right, and you run out of power, you run out of battery completely, you can't get out, cab, because the back the doors won't work. <laughs> Lol. Lol. <laughs> a minor inconvenience. Well, maybe a small separate battery for the doors, then. Yeah. Good night, Lion Shrikin. Right, we're going to have to call it the, We're a half an hour over here. <laughs> I, I blame you. <laughs> yeah. I just want to get that working in some description. There's a lot more work yeah. to do, but it was fun. We've got a train going. Right, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, I'm done. I'm out of here. Until uh, next week. The is literally nearly finished. Yay. Almost 200k in the bank. That'll buy all the fuel for this train. Yep. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. We didn't quite do what we set out to do today. You know, but we got a reasonable boat going, but it kind of got a bit sidetracked. I've got more work to do on that boat. I need to, um, I need to make it better. And the, tra and the train needs a lot of work. Um, but yeah, so this week I'm going to be uh, trying to get the rig up and running so we can get going on that. Cameras and lights to fit and other bits and pieces. Add a solar. Yeah, you definitely need a solar panel. Then you can get out at some point. Listen, have a great week, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, just a quick note. I think next week I'm going to have to stream in the afternoon on Thursday, Friday, because I've got a feeling I'm going out Thursday night seeing some friends I've not seen for nearly a year, and that's the only date they could do. Uh, and then Friday night I have to go out uh, for a meeting, so I'm probably going to stream Thursday, Friday afternoon instead. Other than that, it would be normal Saturday, Sunday. But I shall hopefully catch you next week, so have a cracking week, and see you very, very soon. Thanks for your support as ever, guys. Take it easy. Love you all. Good night.